all of the elephant in the world, Sumatran elephant are the most critically endangered. We've lost most of them. We've lost most of their habitat. If you lose habitat of an animal, you lose the animal. It's only a matter of time. Welcome to the Losa Rainforest. Found on the island of Sumatra in Indonesia, it's the only place on earth elephant, rhino, tiger, and orangutan still live together. It's Asia's equivalent of the Amazon rainforest, but no one's heard of it, and it's disappearing. Come with us as we journey into a forest under threat and meet the people trying to save it. There are around 400,000 African elephants left in the wild, but the last study of the Sumatran elephant population back in 2007 estimated there were only 2,400 of them left. They are scattered across 25 fragmented populations, and rapid deforestation is destroying the island's elephant corridors, the routes the herds used to migrate and connect to one another. In the Losa rainforest, only one such route remains. Running along the Tamyang River, it could be the key to the survival of the species. Without this connectivity, separation and isolation of two populations would lower the genetic diversity and over time lead to extinction. The elephants, seen here in green, move along the yellow migration routes. But the local government has approved a hydroelectric dam here, in the middle of the last intact corridor. Once the wall is built, the water will stop flowing from that moment on, downstream. Water will slowly go up over the course of a year to be taller than all these trees. All this will be underwater. The dam will flood 4,000 hectares. Like so many other infrastructure projects in Indonesia, it is foreign-owned and funded. PT Kamir Zoo is owned by Prosperity Resources. Prosperity Resources is a Hong Kong-based mining company. They built the dam because the next thing that they wanted to do is mine the resources out of this valley. We reached out to PT Kamir Zoo for comment, but they did not reply. In a twist of fate, the dam construction rests not on international power players, but on the decision of a small community of 75 families. The tiny village of Lestan sits within the flood area. Petekamirzu has promised the people of Lestan concrete housing, a hospital, and schools if the village agrees to move. Jadi rumah tipe 45 ini, tipe 45 ini lebih bagus dari kami milik pada saat ini. This area is one of the poorest in Indonesia. They only got electricity last year. Perusahaannya bilang memang akan segera dibangun. Iya, Bu. Tapi sekarang sekarang ini enggak ada ku tengok, Bu. Lagi kerja kan. Iskandar is a cocoa farmer with a family to think about. Kalau memang sesuai ganti ruginya, mau kami bu dibantu sama pemerintah ya begitu. Ekonomi masyarakat ini kan bisa bu. Karena kami bertani lah bu, nggak ada sekolah kan. This is the heart of the matter. How do you balance the needs of the local population with those of the wildlife? Conservation is in preservation. Unless the welfare of the local people is taken into account, then all efforts are doomed to fail. And yet, humans are the biggest single threat to the survival of Lozar. The choice between economic development and the survival of the Sumatran elephant is a stark one. 
the villagers of Leston have been put in an impossible position. And if they reject the dam to preserve the corridor, the species still faces habitat loss, poaching, and fragmentation. The Sumatran elephant may go extinct within our lifetime. <laughs>